All right, so today uh, I'm gonna be putting together a quick video about how to back bleed motorcycle brakes. So the problem is, and, and we've put together a couple of videos about how to change front brakes and rear brakes uh, on dirt bikes, um, also how to bleed clutches. Uh, and a question that we get a lot is like, okay, uh, how do I bleed the brake system? And of course, in all those videos, we were doing it where you'd squeeze the brake and then open the valve on the other end and try to force fluid through. Problem is, is that when you have a big air bubble in the line, um, it takes a lot of effort to try to get that air bubble out because um, you're moving such a small volume of fluid through the line at one time. So in this video, we're going to show you how to force a bunch of fluid through the line um, and force that air bubble out it makes it a lot easier. So I'm running this ugly ass uh, Trail Tech headlight. I hate this thing, but I just haven't had a reason to change it yet. And what happened is the brake line is they routed it on the inside of the mask here. Um, and I put on these uh, bark busters and it bunches up. So basically uh, it was bending or kinking the cable. Um, and I was thinking, oh, okay, it's like a threaded metal cable, right? And it's how, how big of a problem can that actually be? And so I let it go and go and go. And then eventually on the last ride, completely broke the cable in half. No break. Uh oh, it's leaking right there. Uh. No. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, so right now I have no brake fluid uh, in my reservoir. Um, it's completely empty. So I'm going to have a, a pain in the ass time trying to bleed this thing unless I go and back bleed it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to change this cable out and then we'll jump into how to do the back bleeding. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take off the um, cable here from the caliper and get that out of the way. So next I'm just going to go ahead and pull off the top part of the brake cable here from the master cylinder and then I'll go ahead and thread the new one through. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do uh, to black bleed these brakes uh, is to take the cap off the reservoir. Um, but before I did that, what I did is I rotated this back um, on the clamp here. And that's so that this is kind of level so that I can get as much um, brake fluid in there at the time as I can. So I'm just going to pull these two Phillips out. And you can just set this off to the side. In order to back bleed, you're going to need um, couple of syringes and I like to use these big medical syringes and a piece of rubber hose uh, and then you can just fill these up with the brake fluid and like pull it off the back and just dump it in there um, and then you can just force it through that way uh, and then you can use some sort of smaller syringe for the top um, just to suck it out of the reservoir so you don't make a mess up there uh, but the general idea is you're going to want to take the rubber cap off the bleed nipple here and then uh, put an eight mil wrench on there, that loose a little bit, and then put this rubber hose on here and on here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna force fluid all the way through the system, through the brake caliper, up through the line and into the reservoir. And you're just gonna keep forcing fluid through uh, until you've pushed all the bubbles out and you get good brake feel um, at, the at the brake lever. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and fill this up with brake fluid. And I'm gonna open this and just leave it open. And then go ahead and close this off. Now, the one thing you wanna watch out for, you'll see here, there's kind of an air bubble here at the top. Uh, and what you wanna make sure is that you're not forcing air into the line after you've gone so far. So maybe like push the fluid down to like right here somewhere and then take this off and fill it up with fluid again. So you see it's kind of dripping out here. So I'm just open that a little bit. It's just seeping around uh, the threads. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put some pressure on it. All 
I've put about one and a quarter of these syringe tubes through the system. Getting really good brake feel now. Um, I'm not really worried about there being any lines. That was super simple, especially when you compare it to the traditional way of back bleeding a, or just bleeding a brake system. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the cap on this thing. Already closed up the other end um, and I'm ready to go riding. All right guys, so that concludes how to back bleed um, a brake system on a motorcycle, whether it be Brembo or pretty much any other system out there. Um, this is a pretty much a universal process. Makes it so much easier. I, I came across this, I don't know where, um, forever ago, and it's just been so helpful when it comes to bleeding brakes on motorcycles. Um, especially when you get some sort of major failure in a brake line or something where you have a big pocket of air. So if you like the videos we're putting out there, uh, like and subscribe to our channel, obviously. Check us out on Instagram as well. We do a lot of stuff over there. And lastly, check out our line of GoPro chin mounts for motorcycle helmets. These things are specifically designed to the individual helmets. We've got 40 of them on our store right now. <laughs> Just buy the fucking things. My inner salesman is really shining right now.